Hello friends, today we have brought another online free online teaching tool Webex. In our last video, we discussed about Zoom, but as per opinions, Zoom is not safe. It is said, you can use Webex for online meetings or online trainings purpose. It is widely used. So let's move to sign up process. You can just click on start for free or you can sign in using Webex meetings or Webex team. We will go for Webex meeting. So how to sign up just use your email account they will verify and then you either you join or you host if you want to join then you have to use this join a meeting and proceed further and attend a meeting but if you want to host it then you have to use your email id to sign in and proceed further so friends let me take you to the screen backend home we'll discuss these points meetings recordings Preferences, Insights, Support, Downloads and Feedback. Let me explain one by one. So let's go to home first and let's click on meeting. So in the, in the meeting section, it will explain about your all meetings, your own meetings, public meetings or whatever meetings you have done so far. It will show you the record of upcoming meeting. So either you want to see next seven days 30 days next month or from any particular date to till date you can also see the past meetings so it will show the all records so let's move to recording so recording is a feature where you can record your meetings you can see the meetings records so it will show it will show you the record share with you or deleted all information is there okay So the important topic is preference. So you need to do certain settings before you start a meeting, before you host a meeting. So go to my personal room, type your room name. It could be anything. This is a, it will create a personal link, which needs to be shared with the person and the password, which you need to change for all meetings all the time. It should be four digits, number one. And it should not be repeated like one, 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 four times. It should be different okay now let's you have to automatically lock the room after 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes however you want so you but you need to lock it so that nobody can enter your uh, room once the meeting started so there is an option called notification notify me by email when someone personal room lobby when the person host is not around and then save it let's move to audio and video so audio is something generally we need to select webex audio for this purpose you know there is a caller in call me numbers available so when you have audio type connection choose webex audio you can also choose a beep when anybody enters or exits so either it could be big or it could be announced the name or maybe no tone. So I have clicked beep. These are some toll free numbers when you want to uh, provide for your meetings. So country specific countries can have this toll free. So you can choose these two direct numbers. Call you if, you, if somebody want to contact. So you just type a country name and the office phone number. Okay. Or maybe again for mobile also. You can just click uh, your country code and the number. You can also set a audio pin to if you want to, so that people can't hear your conversation. So you can set a password. Unless people have password, they won't be able to hear your audio as well. So that's the same. Codes are same. So video systems. If you want to have your own video addresses, so just type the video name and the domain and click on save. You can also schedule your uh invitations and share recording so just check on send me a copy of invitation or just share the recording automatically once the meeting is over so you just check it it will be sent to the attendees or participants if you want to then let's click on recording so if what kind of view you want for recording you want video thumbnail active speaker or content view only in with share content or no share contents so this is a preview how you want to show your recording and just save it so guys we have done this setting now let's move to insights 
so though we have i have not attended a meeting it's just for demo so it will provide information about meetings you have hosted it the all information will be here downloads so you can download your webex meetings quickly and easily just click on download button and you can easily download either on your computer or anywhere okay so now let's go to schedule a meeting so let's start a meeting we are going to start right now so once you click on start it will start the webex and you will be having your screen still you know it's just starting so yeah so we are here so this is your platform where you're going to host your meeting so i will show you certain main points where you can you know, take care so it will show you open and share you can have poll questions during the meeting where you will have to collect your data you know so you can open the chats from here you can save it save as okay edit so edit options you can change the font you can change the preferences you can paste it so like other applications so here the main part is view how you want to see it you know so it, you can easily ha ah, sorry share you can share the content you can share web browser you can share multipedia you can share my meeting window so if you want to share your multimedia for example just click on this and type the url and click okay it will be shared okay now you want to share your screen computer screen so just click on my meeting window once you click in so you can easily share anything from your computer for example if i am clicking on this media just to show so you, you can share with people participants and if you want to close the window just close it okay so in the view there are a lot of options zoom in fit in view panels if you want to change the panel you can just hide the panel which is showing the right side once you click hide it will be not be visible but let me just uh, click it back because i want to see it during the presentation okay so now let me just show you this next column audio audio connection speaker microphone these settings can be done from here only participants so this is overall control on participant if you want to mute yourself you can mute yourself later on you can unmute yourself if you can mute all or participants or you can mute participants on entry so that they can't do any kind of disturbance at the time of entry or entry and exit tone when people are leaving or entering so that it brings the attention you can copy the meeting link anyone can share but if you check this then only they'll be able to share but it is recommended that host should only share the screen or contents okay so but i have just shown you that anyone can share as well meeting information you can start recording if you want to start recording on your computer record on my computer or you can record on cloud you have to give the path if you want to send a welcome message during the meeting you can send from here as a host to all participants and the main important is log meeting don't forget to log the meeting once you have started hosting the meeting though we did a setting of 10 minutes but you can immediately log the meeting once you are going to start it when you think all participants have enter your room and you will need to lock it this is advisable for security reasons so friends let me also share these icons this is mute if you want to start your video share content if you want to you know this recording part so you can set from here also if you want to close this participant window from here or if you want to just close the chat from here so it will be not visible there are more options available almost similar unlock the meeting invite and remind copy meeting link audio and speaker microphone camera which you did from the top menu so here also you can do as well so if you want to because i am the only person for now but if you have participants you can control from here so friends don't forget to end the meeting from here once you are done if you want to save the chats so just click on save meeting files give the path 
if you don't want to save the chats and check this option and close and the meeting successfully hope you hope you like this friends please do subscribe our channel learners hub digital and click on bell icon to get updates and also visit our website learnershub.website and you will keep getting updates from us please do subscribe us